Welcome everybody to episode 2 of this new series here on my channel. My name is Nick and today I will be explaining the basics of cheating. Today you will learn what cheats are, how they work and what different types of cheats are available these days. Also I will introduce you to C++ and recommend some ways of learning the basics. But before I start, I want to make one thing clear. If you have never coded before, please do not expect to be able to make a wall hack, an aimbot, etc. in just one day. People underestimate developing cheats and are very naive. If you think that in a week you've got an undetectable cheat for Valorant or Fortnite, forget it. You won't make an undetectable cheat for Valorant in just one week. Not even a month. Not even a, a year. Learning to code cheats is a long process and can be tough for some people. Without knowing a coding language, it's going to be pretty hard to learn game hacking. But please do note that I am not claiming that you cannot become a cheat developer without knowing any programming. I know people who started with no experience and now are developing cheats. If you are a fast learner, you can pick up coding along the way, but I definitely recommend first learning the basics of C++. If you don't know what an integer is or a boolean, uh, you have a lot to learn. But anyways, please do not worry now. This series is meant to teach everyone game hacking. In my series, I will try to be as clear as possible in my explanations. This means that for every line we code, I will explain what it does and how it works. I will not be pacing anything since that confuses many people. With that said, let's start with understanding what cheats actually are. So what exactly is a cheat? My explanation for a cheat would be a program which takes the game's process memory and uses it to create an unfair advantage over other players. If this doesn't make sense to you, don't worry. In one of the next videos I will fully go in depth on the memory of the game. A short explanation of a process memory is this here in my task manager. You can see csgo.exe. This exe has a process memory. In this process memory, we can find information about health and ammo as example. A cheat will get itself permissions to change the ammo and health in the process memory. However, health and ammo nowadays are not managed by the process memory in a game such as uh, Veterans, CSGO and other popular games. There are two different types of cheats, internal cheats and external cheats. There's not really a significant difference in these types of cheats, except that a DLL cheat can be executed. For a DLL, we would need a software that injects the internal cheat into the game, whereas an external cheat uses a function that gets the handle of the game's process and use that in the cheat. So internal cheats are executing their code from inside the game's process memory, while external cheats have their own process. Some of you might wonder how an aimbot works, in theory, it's pretty easy to understand. To make an aimbot, you would need a bit of information. This information is stored in the game's process memory. For an aimbot, you would need your view angle. A cheat would automatically move your view angle. If we would like to make an aimbot that aims for the head of the enemy, we would need a bit more information than just the view angle. We also need the entity list. An entity list is a list with information about players. In this entity list, we can find the location of the enemies which is normally stored in uh, an X coordinate, a Y coordinate and a Z coordinate. If we know our view angle and we know where the enemies are, we can make a calculation. As example, we calculate where the head of the enemy is. Then we would code our cheat in a way that it automatically moves our view angle to the head of the enemy. So we could basically say, hey, do you see these players in this entity list? Here you have my view angle. Now please aim for the head and the cheat will automatically aim for the head. Obviously, a trigger bot works differently than an aimbot does. A trigger bot would detect whenever your crosshair touches the enemy. If it detects that your crosshair is on the enemy's hitbox, it will simply just shoot. However, a bunny hop would use a flag in a game. Whenever you are jumping in CSGO, there will be a value that gets switched to one. If you are not jumping, this value would be zero. A bunny hop would constantly kind of scan the flag and if the flag is zero it will automatically jump and if the flag is equal to one it simply just does not jump. So now that you know the basics of cheats it's up to you to decide whether you are going to learn the basics of C++. There are many many different ways of learning C++. This could be a book, a course on YouTube or anything else. I will link a few really good C++ courses you can watch on YouTube. I recommend watching a 10 hours course because in these you learn way more detail than you would in a 1 hour course. Also I will be linking an app where you can learn C++ in a fun way. 
I use this app myself to learn about new programming languages such as PHP, etc. Unfortunately, I only have a cracked version for Android and not for iOS. You would have to download AC Market and from there you can get MIMO Premium for free. If you need help with finding out what works the best for you, don't hesitate and join my Discord server. We have many helpful people who can help you out. Of course, you can also add me personally on Discord if you prefer that. Also, the Discord will be linked in the description. Then I thank you for watching another video of my series and I hope I see you guys in the next one. I will link a few really good... How are you back?